Numbers. Chapter 26. And it came to pass, after the plague, that the Lord spoke to Moses and Eleazar, the son of Aaron, the priest. Take a census of all the congregation of the children of Israel, from twenty years old and above, by their fathers' houses, all who are able to go to war in Israel. So Moses and Eleazar, the priest, spoke with them in the plains of Moab, by the Jordan, across from Jericho. Take a census of the people from twenty years old and above, just as the Lord commanded Moses and the children of Israel who came out of the land of Egypt. Reuben was the firstborn of Israel. The children of Reuben were of Hanak, the family of the Hanakites, of Palu, the family of the Paluites, of Hezron, the family of the Hezronites, of Carmi, the family of the Carmites. These are the families of the Reubenites. Those who were numbered of them were 43,730. And the son of Palu was Eliab. The sons of Eliab were Nemuel, Dathan, and Abiram. These are the Dathan and Abiram, representatives of the congregation, who contended against Moses and Aaron in the company of Korah, when they contended against the Lord, and the earth opened its mouth and swallowed them up, together with Korah, when that company died, when the fire devoured 250 men, and they became a sign. Nevertheless, the children of Korah did not die. The sons of Simeon, according to their families, were of Nemuel, the family of the Nemuelites, of Jamin, the family of the Jaminites, of Jachin, the family of the Jachinites, of Zira, the family of the Zahites, of Shaul, the family of the Shorlites. These are the families of the Simeonites, 22,200. The sons of Gad, according to their families, were of Zephan, the family of the Zephanites, of Haggai, the family of the Haggites, of Shunai, the family of the Shunites, of Aznai, the family of the Aznites, of Erai, the family of the Erites, of Arad, the family of the Aradites, of Areli, the family of the Arelites. These are the families of the sons of Gad, according to those who were numbered of them, 40,500. The sons of Judah were Ur and Onan, and Ur and Onan died in the land of Canaan. And the sons of Judah, according to their families, were of Shelah, the family of the Shelanites, of Perez, the family of the Parzites, of Zira, the family of the Zahites. And the sons of Perez were of Hezran, the family of the Hezronites, of Hamel, the family of the Hamelites. These are the families of Judah, according to those who were numbered of them, 76,500. The sons of Issachar, according to their families, were of Tola, the family of the Tolaites, of Pua, the family of the Punites, of Jashub, the family of the Jashubites, of Shimran, the family of the Shimranites. These are the families of Issachar, according to those who were numbered of them. 64,300. The sons of Zebulun, according to their families, were of Sired, the family of the Sardites, of Elan, the family of the Elanites, of Jaliel, the family of the Jalielites. These are the families of the Zebulunites, according to those who were numbered of them, 60,500. The sons of Joseph, according to their families, by Manasseh and Ephraim, were the sons of Manasseh, of Machir, the family of the Makerites, and Machir begot Gilead, of Gilead, the family of the Gileadites. These are the sons of Gilead, of Jeeza, the family of the Jeezaites, of Helak, the family of the Helakites, of Azrael, the family of the Azraelites, of Shechem, the family of the Shechemites, of Shemida, the family of the Shemidaites, 
of Hepha, the family of the Hepharites. Now Zelophehad, the son of Hepha, had no sons but daughters. And the names of the daughters of Zelophehad were Mala, Noah, Hagla, Milka, and Terza. These are the families of Manasseh. And those who were numbered of them were 52,700. These are the sons of Ephraim, according to their families. Of Shuthala, the family of the Shuthalites. Of Beker, the family of the Bakrites. Of Tehan, the family of the Tehanites. And these are the sons of Shuthala. Of Iran, the family of the Iranites. These are the families of the sons of Ephraim, according to those who were numbered of them, 32,500. These are the sons of Joseph, according to their families. The sons of Benjamin, according to their families, were of Bela, the family of the Belaites, of Ashbel, the family of the Ashbelites, of Ahira, the family of the Ahiramites, of Shufan, the family of the Shufamites, of Hufa, the family of the Hufamites. And the sons of Bela were Ard and Naaman. Of Ard, the family of the Ardites, of Naaman, the family of the Naamites. These are the sons of Benjamin, according to their families, and those who were numbered of them were 45,600. These are the sons of Dan, according to their families, of Shuham, the family of the Shuhamites. These are the families of Dan, according to their families. All the families of the Shuhamites, according to those who were numbered of them, were 64,400. The sons of Asher, according to their families, were of Jimna, the family of the Jimnites, of Jeshuai, the family of the Jeshuites, of Bariah, the family of the Bariahites, of the sons of Bariah, of Heber, the family of the Heberites, of Malkiel, the family of the Malkielites. And the name of the daughter of Asher was Sira. These are the families of the sons of Asher, according to those who were numbered of them, 53,400. The sons of Naphtali, according to their families, were of Jaziel, the family of the Jazielites, of Gunai, the family of the Gunites, of Jeza, the family of the Jezerites, of Shilam, the family of the Shilamites. These are the families of Naphtali, according to their families, and those who were numbered of them were 45,400. These are those who were numbered of the children of Israel, 601,730. Then the Lord spoke to Moses. To these the land shall be divided as an inheritance according to the number of names. To a large tribe you shall give a larger inheritance, and to a small tribe you shall give a smaller inheritance. Each shall be given its inheritance according to those who were numbered of them. But the land shall be divided by lot. They shall inherit according to the names of the tribes of their fathers. According to the lot, their inheritance shall be divided between the larger and the smaller. And these are those who were numbered of the Levites, according to their families. Of Gershon, the family of the Gershonites, of Kohath the family of the Kohathites, of Mirerai, the family of the Mirerites. These are the families of the Levites, the family of the Libnites, the family of the Hebronites, the family of the Malites, the family of the Mushites, and the family of the Korathites. And Kohath begot Amram. The name of Amram's wife was Jacobed, the daughter of Levi who was born to Levi in Egypt, and to Amram she bore Aaron and Moses, and their sister, Miriam. To Aaron was born Nadab and Abihu, Eliezer and Ithamar. And Nadab and Abihu died when they offered profane fire before the Lord. 
Now those who were numbered of them were 23,000, every male from a month old and above, for they were not numbered among the other children of Israel, because there was no inheritance given to them among the children of Israel. These are those who were numbered by Moses and Eleazar the priest, who numbered the children of Israel in the plains of Moab by the Jordan across from Jericho. But among these there was not a man of those who were numbered by Moses and Aaron the priest when they numbered the children of Israel in the wilderness of Sinai. For the Lord had said of them, They shall surely die in the wilderness. So there was not left a man of them except Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, and Joshua, the son of Nun. Numbers, chapter 27. Then came the daughters of Zelophehad, the son of Hepher, the son of Gilead, the son of Machir, the son of Manasseh, from the families of Manasseh, the son of Joseph. And these were the names of his daughters, Mala, Noah, Hagla, Milka, and Terza. And they stood before Moses, before Eleazar the priest, and before the leaders and all the congregation, by the doorway of the tabernacle of meeting, saying, Our father died in the wilderness, but he was not in the company of those who gathered together against the Lord, in company with Korah, but he died in his own sin, and he had no sons. Why should the name of our father be removed from among his family because he had no son? Give us a possession among our father's brothers. So Moses brought their case before the Lord. And the Lord spoke to Moses. The daughters of Zelophehad speak what is right. You shall surely give them a possession of inheritance among their father's brothers and cause the inheritance of their father to pass to them. And you shall speak to the children of Israel, saying, If a man dies and has no son, then you shall cause his inheritance to pass to his daughter. If he has no daughter, then you shall give his inheritance to his brothers. If he has no brothers, then you shall give his inheritance to his father's brothers. And if his father has no brothers, then you shall give his inheritance to the relative closest to him in his family, and he shall possess it. And it shall be to the children of Israel a statute of judgment, just as the Lord commanded Moses. Now the Lord said to Moses, Go up into this Mount Abarim, and see the land which I have given to the children of Israel. And when you have seen it, you also shall be gathered to your people, as Aaron your brother was gathered. For in the wilderness of Zin, during the strife of the congregation, you rebelled against my command to hallow me at the waters before their eyes. These are the waters of Meribah at Kadesh in the wilderness of Zin. Then Moses spoke to the Lord. Let the Lord, the God of the spirits of all flesh, set a man over the congregation who may go out before them and go in before them, who may lead them out and bring them in, that the congregation of the Lord may not be like sheep which have no shepherd. Take Joshua, the son of Nun, with you, a man in whom is the Spirit, and lay your hand on him. Set him before Eleazar the priest, and before all the congregation, and inaugurate him in their sight. And you shall give some of your authority to him, that all the congregation of the children of Israel may be obedient. He shall stand before Eleazar the priest, who shall inquire before the Lord for him by the judgment of the Urim. At his word they shall go out, and at his word they shall come in, he and all the children of Israel with him, all the congregation. So Moses did as the Lord commanded him. He took Joshua and set him before Eleazar the priest and before all the congregation. 
and he laid his hands on him and inaugurated him, just as the Lord commanded by the hand of Moses.